It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Southern California and the gorgeous SoFi Stadium. environment you need to take care of you know i always liked it i always thought it added to the element of bringing some energy and bringing some juice especially in pregame but once that ball's kicked off you want to settle this crowd down as fast as you can especially on offense take them out of it get them back on their chairs sitting on their hands the more energy you give them the more noise it does make it a little less efficient to operate especially on offense so come out fast come out furious and see if you can take this crowd out right from the jump. From the six, here comes a return. And they'll bring down the side of the 30 yard line. The Chargers went out by Justin Herbert in his fifth season out break. As the Charger QB, a guy we saw win the Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2020. He spent a lot of time, Mike, over these last couple days speaking to the media. And the thing that jumped out to me was just how confident he was in his team's preparation ahead of today's game. Now, only time will tell or not whether it makes a difference. But if his confidence is any indication of how they're going to perform, this could be a tough team to beat. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing to get going. It's Herbert. Brought in by the tight end, Hayden Hurst with the catch. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Shotgun now for Herbert. He's got the connection there. It's Joshua Palmer. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. It's Herbert. This one from the catch. He's hit, and the ball is out. And this is taken in by the defense. And now, following the turnover, we have an injured player on the field. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. Now Herbert again. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down.
He'll try and run for the first down with Edwards. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards. We'll give him four yards. It was third and two as they convert. Gun. Here's Herbert. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. I might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't. And now third down comes up. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should. And you let it slip away. It's just so hard to be a good offense in the NFL, Mike, when you are not good on third down. Your inability to extend drives, it either puts a lot of pressure on your coaches to be aggressive on fourth down or simply punt or take a field goal. You have to maintain possession and give you more cracks to score touchdowns. Dicker's kick is good. And the Chargers are out to an early 3-0 lead. First and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Najee Harris. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. Junior Colson there to make the stop. Here's second and nine. Here comes Harris on the toss to the right. Up the sideline to the 40. And he'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. The key to these toss plays, Mike, is that the back has patience. It's a mixture of you want to get that ball out on the edge quickly, but you also have to give time for the big boys out in front to give you some blocks. So really well executed there, and it led to a big pickup. That's Washington, the man in motion. A run. Here's Harris. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. He'll come up now for second down and four. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. No run. This is Jalen Warren. And lowers the shoulder. A gain of about three.
They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They're trying to run for it with Harris. And I don't know. I don't think he is short. They are going to mark him short. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. They send fire move the tight end in motion. Here's Harris. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. You know, we spend a lot of time praising the running backs, and deservingly so. But oftentimes, it's a combination of the scheme and the big guys up front who make it work, and that's exactly what we saw here on the big pick. Play action now for Fields. To the goal line and in. Touchdown, Steelers. Chris Boswell on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Steelers move out to a 7-3 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Darius Davis to return it. and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Chargers offense ready to possess the football for the second time the trail by four a touchdown gives them the lead drive begins with first and ten Pistol here for Herbert. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Opening carry of the game, it's J.K. Dobbins. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. And this is a great example of why it's so important on defense to sprint to the ball. His ability to make people miss is hard for one guy to get him on the ground. But when you can get everybody to the ball, eventually you can take them down. And in this case, they do it for a loss. Throwing is Herbert on third down. And that is incomplete. The one he was looking for. And it's going to be fourth down. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the puck team coming on. A fair catch called and taken right at the 30 yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to take over for their second possession. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. The 
he'll start this on the ground with Warren. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. This is already a little better than the first time they had the ball, Mike. Remember, opening possession, three and out. Showing some signs of life here now. Nice pick up there by the back to pick up the first down. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Off the play action, here's Fields. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush. They feel the rush, and that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. Here's a second and three fourth come. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. A run with Harris. Uh, first down, he's not done. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Steelers' 11-yard line. A big-time play for Pittsburgh. 38 yards. We had a feeling coming into the game that they were going to get this guy plenty of touches, and you can see from this early success why. The defense is going to have to make some adjustments here because they have had no answers thus far. First down, Fields. And he'll take it on in. Pat Firemuth. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Greg, offensive coordinator's script the start of the game. This script has read perfectly. What a great start for this offense. It just seems like every play this offensive coordinator dials up is perfectly timed and then perfectly executed. They've been aggressive. They've been efficient right since the start of this one. And... I'll tell you what, Mike, they continue to build on this lead here early. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long day for this defense. Mm -hmm. Boswell adds the extra point, and the Steelers extend their advantage to 14 to 3. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Davis now to return it. And a solid one back there. He'll get this out past the 30 yard line. So now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. Now it's Edwards. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. The best running backs, Mike, they have a really good balance between executing the play that's designed, but then every so often they just have to trust their instincts, and sometimes that's the best plays. That's where the big home run shots come from, and when you have a talented back, you want to give them that freedom. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Do we see Mike the running back? They get a little too antsy and they go a little too fast on these screen plays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out, he then follows behind. That's the key to a good screenplay. Set to go now on first and ten. Go, 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 
to throw. It's Herbert. Pass to the tight end, Hurst. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. On the handoff, Edwards. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. We don't give these big guys enough credit, Mike, just how fast these defensive tackles really are. Here he uses his speed to break through, take the back down for a loss. Third and six. Now Herbert. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I'd say one of the most critical elements of a dynamic offense, Mike, is how efficient are you on third down? It's something these teams stress all week. Here's an opportunity to continue to extend this drive. The defense wins this time and brings up fourth down. And that's going to work out well. Out of bounds, and they mark it inside the five-yard line. The Steelers' offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. And he has made his presence felt in the ground game already in this first quarter. And it might very well lean on him the next three quarters, too. On the ground, it's the tight end. And not much room to run there. He'll only get to the six-yard line. Here's a second and nine. We are through one. 14-3 is the score. And we're back at SoFi in SoCal after this. Now, a second down throw for Fields. He'll get that complete. It's George Pickens. And he's going to be taken down at the 17-yard line. First roll of backed up offense. Get the first first down. The last thing you want to do, punt the ball back and give your opponent a short field. Mission accomplished. Now, can they maintain possession long enough to see if they can cap this drive off with some points? Now it's Harris. Ooh. And he's going to have this one up near the 28. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. Fields now to throw on first down. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. On the ground, this is Harris. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. It sets up third down. Fields from the pistol. There's a short one caught by Fryermo. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Give up the 
the middle to half. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Now, there hasn't been a whole lot for this crowd to be excited about on either side of the ball, but at least now the defense is trying to be that spark. Nice tackle for loss there. Can they do something to build upon to try to get this team going? Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. Second down. It's Field. his second catch on the drive this one is good for 20 yards a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 working out of the gun it's fields into the hands of Pickens once again and he's going to be taken down well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. He'll run with Harris. Some room to run as he takes it down to the two-yard line. Second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Fields. And that is hot in the end zone. He's in. George Pickens. Touchdown, Steelers. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Boswell now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Steelers move out to a 21-3 advantage. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Chargers offense ready to get back to work. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. drive starts with a carry by Edwards. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down.
on play action. Now, oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. To throw is Herbert. This throw taken in by Hurst. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he's on to punt for the Chargers. Now, fair catch, and he'll take it at about the 24-yard line. The Steelers offense, and their running back, set to go once more. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him, and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Here's Fields. He'll let this go for picking. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's just unable to secure the catch through the contact. And really nice job timing that hit up by the defense. And at this point, all you can do is get up, get back in the huddle, and hope your quarterback gives you another shot. That's caught. Right side. It's fire move. They'll empty out the backfield, line up for third and three. Now Fields. He's got his tight. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. Strong running there, pushing his way forward to gain a couple. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Fields. That is intercepted. Picked off by Christian Fulton. And he's going to set up his guys with great field position. A huge chance to cut into the deficit. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Chargers offense ready to see what they can do. They'll start really in field goal territory already, but they're looking for more. Offense got it first and ten. From the gun, it's Herbert. That'll be taken in by Edwards. Oh. 
Second down and eight. They're going to motion their tight end, Hurst. Shotgun now for Herbert. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. What can they do here on third down and seven? Out of the gun, here's Herbert. And this ball incomplete on third down. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw, but think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. Here's Cameron Dicker now on for the field goal. This will be a 41-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Chargers are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. Going to be looking to possibly push this to a three-score advantage. What to do on this drop? First and ten. Fields to throw. He finds Austin with the grab. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. He sets this route up perfectly. You'll see he attacks the inside leverage of the defender, thinking he's going to run an in-breaking route. Then he gets back vertical and breaks out, creates separation, falls on time, picks up an easy first down. There's a ton of time left in this game. They don't need to feel like this is desperation mode, but they do feel the urgency to get stops, and that sack's going to go a long way to getting them off the field here. Continue to come away, giving up no points. Give the ball back to your offense and see if they can start chipping away. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw is field. Gain yardage out of this one before he slides. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Third and long. Now, Fields. Going for it all. scarier for a quarterback like than to see that ball popped up in the air. It, it feels like that ball is in the air for an eternity, and all you hope is that it just harmlessly falls to the ground, and fortunately for the offense, that's exactly what it did. Davis to return it, and he's going to be brought down after a short return, and that's where his team will get possession of the football. The Chargers offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They need to start making some inroads here. Down two scores as they begin this drive with first down. They'll run to begin this drive. It's Edwards. Look at him stay on his feet as he's able to shimmy his way for a gain of about five.
Two minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I return to SoFi Stadium after a short break. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now, Herbert. The man is Johnston. He's got it. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. first half and good enough for a first down. Throwing now is Herbert. Pass to the tight end first. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Again, they'll throw with Herbert. Back to his tight end, the former Seahawk, Will Disley. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing again, Herbert. Quick throw, taken in. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. to the air again. He connects with Palmer on that one. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Can they keep this drive rolling? Here is third and inches. Herbert to the air again. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They find a way to convert on third and one. Big time conversion there on third down. Finding yourself trailing at the moment. The last thing you want to do is waste this promising possession. Now, with that throw, they find themselves deep in their opponent's territory. They have to come away with the touchdown to try to cut into this deficit. Now, Herbert again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And he will take this one across into the end zone. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Cameron Dicker, the kicker for the extra point. He's got it. And the Chargers are back within one score. It is an eight-point game.
Three seconds, all that remain in this first half as that one's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here. It is an eight-point game as we send you back east to sunny Florida. Standing by with our EA Sports Halftime Report, it's the coach. Jonathan Coachman. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Pro Visitor's offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The advantage is eight. We'll see if they can make this a two-score game on this drop. First down and ten. Shotgun. It's Fields. He's going to look for the home run ball. He was trying to get that to Najee Harris. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Bit of a letdown there. I mean, after that incompletion now, Mike, they find themselves giving the ball back. They're only down eight, so every single time they possess the ball, it's an opportunity to maybe get this thing back to all tied up. But every time they don't take advantage of a possession, it's another opportunity lost, and they've got to find a way. When they get the ball back, they've got to go chase some points. And that's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. Justin Herbert back out there. He and the Chargers getting set to go once more. 
and he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Here's Herbert. Quick throw here is complete. Second down and three. A run. It's Edwards. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. The key to great defensive line play is the get-off. When that ball moves, how fast can you get off the ball and get into the backfield? That's exactly what we saw here. Quick read, react, get off the block, take him down for a loss. Herbert going to try to throw on third down. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend that lead. I think anytime you find yourself trailing in the second half, like all offensive play callers, fight the urge to chase those points. They tend to get a little bit over eager. They tend to push the envelope sometimes a little too far. Those turnovers, they only make the deficit grow, not shrink. Now, there's a lot of football left, Mike. They can still get back into this. They just have to be a little bit smarter about which risks you're willing to take. So it needs to continue to be stressed. Yes, we want the big explosive play after the catch, but never at the expense of the ball. The home team's offense and Justin Herbert getting set for this next drive. And it's been a struggle all afternoon. The defense done a great job taking him away from his game, taking his weapons away, and he has yet to find anything to lean on in this one. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So they come to the line for first down and 10. Back to throw is Fields. And he can't hang on through the contact. 
contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Situation. Now after that first down sack, I think the odds are a little bit more in their favor. And they hold up here on second and third down, and if they can make the offense settle for three, man, that's a huge win for this defense. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. A run. Here's Harris. That play may have taken a little bit too long to develop. It's no gain. He's back at the four-yard line. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often, they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Fields from the gun on third down. A good blocking, and he's in. Justin Fields. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. <laughs> On for the extra point is Boswell. He knocks it through. And the Steelers will extend this third quarter lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away 
Davis now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense back onto the field for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10. Now, Herbert. He connects with Disley. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Here's Edwards. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be throw for a loss. No big game that carry. It's second down. you don't always need to record a sack to make your presence felt creating pressure move the quarterback affect his timing those are all different ways to take pressure off your coverage unit throwing is Herbert on third down and this is going to be incomplete that is a letdown there pass looked to be on target no catch and now fourth down Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we've got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And with three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. First and ten. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No game on that. But given effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage, I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss. But not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss. But it still stopped for no game. Fields now on second down to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. And a nice game, getting this to about the 23-yard line. Fields now to throw on first down. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryermuth. 
And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They send Frymuth, the tight end, in motion. They go play action with Fields. He's got the first down, not by a whole lot. Well, he gets three. That's all he needed for a new set of downs. Here's second and six. Here comes Harris on the toss to the right. And we brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This defense in desperate need of a stop, and here comes third down. Fields to throw. Open man, right side, he's got it. A gain of 16 yards. That's a Steeler first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Here's Fields. Very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Pat Frymuth, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is, firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. And that ball out of reach toward the sideline. It'll be an incompletion. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And he's going to be out of bounds down near the 25. They get 20 on the connection. Good for a Steeler first down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive would be a bit of a letdown. Here's a second and three fourth come. A run with Harris. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. again not a whole lot happening there just a short pickup now 
a second down throw for Fields. This one caught at the four, and he will score. Jalen Warren, touchdown Steelers. So often these defenses come into the game, Mike, and when they build their pass defense plan, there's tight ends, there's receivers. There's so many weapons that these offenses around the league have at their disposal. It can be easy sometimes to not account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what happened here. Easy throw, get it into the hands of one of the most dynamic guys on the field and let them do the rest after the catch, and he takes it in for a touchdown. Boswell now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Steelers will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to take over possession of the football. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. From the gun, it's Herbert. With the man is Johnston. He's got it. And he'll be brought down up around the 38-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. Gets there and down he goes. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. Shotgun now for Herbert. That one complete to Johnston. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. To throw. It's Herbert. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So the first part of any interception is just end up with the ball in your hands, right? That's what every defensive coordinator wants. But anytime you can get yards on the return, that's just an added bonus. And that's what we see here. There's a little space, does a great job securing the catch, and all of those yards just set up for better field position as their offense takes the field. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Here's Harris. Not a on that one. Take it down to the 36.
He'll come up on a second down and eight. A give, and here comes Harris. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. fourth down the integrity of the defense Mike is based on every defender holding their gap that's exactly what we saw out of this defensive tackle not only did he hold his gap he's able to shed his block and make the play now on fourth down the veteran Chris Boswell on for the Steelers this one from 49 Boswell's kick is good and the Steelers will extend their lead I think at this point in the game Mike when you have things under control not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while they still were able to manage to add three points The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line the Chargers offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession they'll start out first down and ten and when you force a quarterback to hold the ball longer than expected it allows that pass rush to get home and results in a sack throwing over oh and this one's going to wind up incomplete that's one you'd think he'd be able to corral he can't find the handle and it's going to lead to a third down Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. On third and long, it's Herbert. And he'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. just had a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries even on their side of the field Mike and we're seeing it so much more often the days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying hey we're going to play good defense remember the better your defense that doesn't mean you should punt the better your defense the more chances you should take on offense give them 12 on that one they are on the march another first down Throwing again, Herbert. That's to the tight end host. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. Herbert. 
Herbert to the air again. they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work this will pay off with a touchdown great mike you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little too late I give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one kicker now for the extra point it's up and good Chargers are able to cut into the deficit. Down three scores, and it's late. They're going to need a few bounces to go their way. They'll start right here, trying to get an onside kick. You have no choice. You find yourself down big here late in the fourth quarter, Mike. You got nothing to lose. Give it a shot. Nice job here by the hands team recovering. They're going to take over possession. The Steelers' offense and quarterback Justin Fields make their way back out. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Austin brought in motion. Right away, they'll try a jet sweep. A good job defensively to rally to the ball. They hold him to a short game. Here's a second and nine. On the handoff, it's Harris. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. down right back to Harris now they are in business inside the 15 yard line so when you are evaluating the impact of a team's run game like I think it's important at the end of the game to look back and say okay how many yards did they run for but more importantly when did those yards come did I run for those yards in the fourth quarter which typically means I had the lead that's the sign of a successful run game as opposed to getting a lot of meaningless yards early in the game. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's a second and six. They send Firemuth, the tight end, in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock, clock says zero. That's a delay again. So 
Well, this one in the win column for the Steelers. They proved much the best in this one. Get a solid performance in all three phases of the game and ride that to victory.